Hello! Hey! I took like a little break from filming after Vlogmas and it's been really nice but I kind of feel like I'm out of the loop. Um, I'm going to do my January plan with me. I'm actually filming this like on the first in the evening because I had a lovely um, New Year's Day not worrying about anything so I haven't filled out my tracker I don't think for the 31st or anything but this is what uh, last year's month yeah, last year's, December's monthly looked like. And I'm going to be using the same spread um, from Peanut Planner Co. for January. Um, and just fill now that out. So uh, I'm going to keep this here so I can reference it. But I'm going to start with a color scheme, I think. I used last month this section for baby milestones and this section was just sort of decorative which I think I may do again I got this uh, washi tape from my mother-in-law's a Christmas gift and I think it looks really cool and I think if I measure this right it should be roughly eh, no not quite it is pretty narrow I was thinking it would be this width uh, but it is not so let me see do this kind of just because I didn't really use I didn't use this to-do list very much at all last month so let's fill this in a little bit just I don't know to give it some color this is a really cool marble washi tape with some gold foiling on it which is fun it's just the Michaels brand And then, I don't know if I have anything else to put here. Oh, I know. I know. Okay. First what I need is... This is my purple mild liner. I use this for my little headers here. I have to keep in frame. Um, let's see. Okay, since this is gold foiled, I'm going to go ahead. I've been having fun with my um, gold Uniball Signo. Uh, let's see. Can you read that? I don't think I can read that. Okay. I don't know, maybe it actually looks better on camera than in person. The contrast is not fantastic, but that says milestones and that says goal. Um, I've decided, like I've done in the past, instead of making one New Year's resolution, to make like a resolution for every um, month, one per month, and I have not yet at all even started to figure out uh, what that's going to be, but that's the place where it's going to go. So, yeah. It'll just be like, in the past, what's worked best for me is to have it be like a project that I've been putting off for a long time. And then I give myself one month to get it done. And it's usually not even a project that's like super time consuming. It's just something I don't want to do. So I'll probably look at my someday maybe or some, you know, one of those lists of projects that I'm ignoring. And so, so this side's going to be events, same as last time. And this side, yeah, it's really not a fantastic contrast. Uh, this side is going to be tasks. There we go. And then here. Hmm. I'm wondering. This is too much. We will see. If it looks terrible, then I guess there's nothing I can do. But here is a Tombow brush pen. We'll see what happens if I go like this. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, covering the Thursday a little bit. Just kind of connect everything. I'm not fantastic with my upstrokes, but I've been trying to practice a little bit. I did some gift tags with these pens. And they turned out okay, I think. And then, let's see. Just like that. 2019. Just to remind myself what year it is. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. I forgot this is actually the first uh, video of the New Year on this channel since I moved everything over to the new channel. So we'll use this to be low point 88 uh, for the calendar and I was realizing that they don't the numbers don't have to be quite as small as I had previously put them. So let me see the first is it Tuesday double triple checking and this color by the way is 22 again not talking much you have to concentrate when you're filling out these calendars it's very easy to get carried away how many times have I put 13 o'clock on a planner, even when I'm not filming? Don't start talking about military time in the comments. I know about military time. I don't use it in my planner. Alright, right. right. I think I've said this before, I always double check um, as I come around to each week, 7, 14, 21, 28, at least those are in line. And then if I mess up, hopefully I'll catch myself um, with only a week out of back. As long as I start on the right day, it did start on a Tuesday, right? <laughs> Today's Tuesday. All right, and you know what? Last week, or last month, Last week, also, I used um, this gold washi tape to mark my days off, and I think I'm going to do the same, uh, if I can find it. I've got all of my washi tape in this little... Eh. Oh, here it is. Oh, okay. That will do... And just sort of work it like this. I have been fortunate enough to be able to take Wednesdays off to be with the baby at home, but I am running out of those days, and so I only have two more Wednesdays. And then the baby's gonna have to be at the sitters on Wednesdays. But oh my goodness, she is six months old now as of the second. Can you believe that? It's crazy. All right, no holidays. So that's pretty straightforward. And let me see. I'm going to use the same fine liner for my habit tracker here. Most of these are going to be the same, but not all of them are going to carry over. I keep forgetting the vitamins. All right. This Instagram on this tracker is for my personal Instagram that only people I know in real life uh, follow. So sorry about that. Nothing personal, but it's only, you know, stuff that 
has to do with my personal life anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and use the mild liner to mark off weekends on both sides here just to make it a little easier to follow. entirely sold on having tasks on one side and events on the other. For one thing, there's really only room for one of each on the line. Um, so kind of have to be creative. But I'm thinking if there's multiple things, I might just mark a reference to somewhere else. So I'm going to look here. When I say here, I mean on January's. I think the only tasks that the only task that hasn't uh, been done yet has already been moved to a different place, so I don't have to worry about it. And uh, we're good there. So I'm going to flip to the front section of my planner, um, which has my recurring tasks list and kind of reference that. Um, well, no, I'm going to start with my future log. That's this guy here. There's only a couple things. Uh, events. So here we have doctor's appointment. And then a task over here. And then a to do. Two to do's. Okay. This is going to be for the podcast that I do for my Hogwarts, um, but it probably at some point is going to show up on my channel here. So if you're interested in all in Harry Potter, that will pop up and you will enjoy that. So now I'm looking at my recurring task list. Like I said, I've got to do things. Okay. I'm trying out sort of a thing where I just write slightly larger. I don't know if that... You ever change your handwriting just to kind of switch things up? It kind of makes things feel fuller somehow. I don't know if that's good or not. Visually, maybe it's interesting. These are all the same things every month, and I don't know if they really need to be on here, but it kind of does remind me. Uh, that I only have fewer places that I have to look, the better. the erasable pen. Okay, ran out of room on that line, see? And, oh yeah, this needs doing. All right, guess that's good. I will, here. I don't know if that's too much 
about that right now. This is a weekly planning thing. Um, and over the whole Christmas break, there's a lot of stuff on here that I just haven't really been going back and checking off. And I think that's kind of fine. So some of these lists somewhere, I'm going to find a thing that's going to be my January resolution. Um, and I'm not going to worry about it too much. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, look at that. This is my birthdays insert and I don't seem to have any January birthdays. So that's fine. And I will just go ahead and pop out December. Put this in my disorganized pile of inserts that need to be put somewhere more permanent and then just put in January. So there we go. I think this looks okay. I like the color theme. Uh, normally, I mean, I I don't think I have synesthesia, but I do kind of tend to associate uh, months with colors sometimes. I don't know. So I kind of tend to associate January with the color blue. But I like this so much that I decided to go for a purple theme, and I think it's going to be okay. I'm just going to pick maybe this one. Oh, look. I told you I was filming this on the first, so I actually can fill out the tracker. And yes, that does look good. Let's see. Just like this. So I will hang on to this one in my purse so that it's handy and use it to fill out the tracker and then I will show you what this looks like in another month when I do February's plan with me. So uh, I will see you guys in the next video on Sunday. Until then, have a great day and uh, yeah, love you. Bye.